My name's Martin Welsh. I'm a full-time painter, and lately I've been doing a series of portraits. And uh, I'm really trying to not just capture a likeness of the person, but I'm trying to get a bit of their essence and a bit of their character and try and put that down on canvas. Tonight on The Sitting, I'm meeting uh, Russell Brown. Russell is the host of Media 7. He's also a journalist, a commentator, and is the founder of New Zealand's most read internet blog site. Look, come in, this is the gallery, this is where it all takes place. And uh, basically, look, just take a seat. Yep. And we'll get straight into it. Eh? Okay, let's No mucking around. Mm -hmm. Now you're pretty heavily involved in the media, you've got Media 7, the internet with blogging. Um, how do you fit it all in? I mean... I don't know, people always ask me that. I did actually give up a couple of magazine columns when I started doing Media 7, which is actually quite unlike me. I tend to want to try and fill all available yeah. space. You know, I don't like not doing things. So, I mean, how did, where did little Russell grow up? Um, I was a, a bank kid, so my dad was a, moved around quite a lot. So I grew up in what, I think it was the, the born in the Hutt Valley, lived in Hamilton and Vicargill, Christchurch, Greymouth, back to Christchurch. Yeah, mainland of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So mainly Christchurch, actually, yeah. And so did you go to tertiary after that for general? No, no, or? I didn't, actually. Um, because I was one of the first... Uh, one of the last journalism cadets in New Zealand. So what corporation did that? Was that the... Oh, uh, was the Christchurch Star back when it was a daily newspaper. And I actually didn't last that long because in my second year, um, every year they had to send a cadet from the Christchurch Star to the Timaru branch office. Yeah. And I, I actually held out the whole year in Timaru and then thought, bugger this, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going to do rock and roll. And then um, was the deputy editor at Rip It Up for two and a half years. Next port of call for you? Next port of call was London. Yeah, I, I went and re worked in record shops. Uh, yep. The H&B store in Piccadilly Circus and then uh, the Virgin shop in Marble Arch. Yeah, and I was a, a temporary worker the whole time through, so, you know, I have to sign the book every week. So it's a Janet Frame. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sam Hunt. <laughs> <laughs> I was sort of willfully, willfully unemployed between the two record store gigs as well, which was great. I tried to write a novel. <laughs> so were you squatting? Yeah. How, how does that, how does that um, eventuate? It's a lot harder to do now, but, but there were a lot of New Zealanders doing it at the time. So and, it's and actual, had it's been actual law? Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. You, you had some protection under law. It was relatively difficult to get you out if you, if you occupied an empty property. Yeah. And New Zealanders were really good at it because... They'd walk in there and the council would smash the toilet to discourage people from, from occupying it. Yeah. And of course, the Kiwi walks in there and goes, oh, we'll need to replace the dunny. Yeah. Yeah, and they yeah, actually go and do it. Yeah, got yeah. the skills. And, and there were, I met lots of people like that in London. So you five years, you come, what made you come back? Just time to come home? Um, I met my uh, current partner, Fiona, or who, who we, we actually went to school together. Uh, did you and go we, over with you? Or no, you no, 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 we met, we met up again uh, in 1998. That was exciting, and then, but then anyway, 1991, we have a we have a kid, um, you know, Jimmy, our first firstborn, yep. and um, we were living in Brixton on Railton Road, which is you know back then was nicknamed the front line. Okay. And <laughs> it was just we had a couple of hassles with the landlord, and we just thought, screw it, let's, go, let's go back to New Zealand. I think I came back and I really wanted to, I wanted to do something new, come back with that momentum. So I, um, I was talking to the program director of BFM, Graham Hill, who I used to flat with, and I would heard some absolutely witless news coverage and I said, you need some good news commentary mm -hmm. on your radio station, Graham. And uh, he turned around and said, when can you start? So I did. I think one of the... I won't say challenge, but I think one of the technical things about Russell's face is his stubble. Uh, I think a lot of artists try and shy away from stubble. They like clean, shaven faces. So uh, yeah, technically it's going to be, it'll be fun. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Media 7, I mean, how did it all start and what does it entail? Media 7 really came out of uh, these things called the Great Blend, which were these uh, live events that we do maybe three a year. Um, from public address. The core part of that is, is the panel. And I actually really like moderating panel discussions because it's like doing three different interviews at once. Running a good panel discussion is really satisfying. So what, I mean, why, why the media? Why, why have you chosen that as an outlet? Um, oh, I think I always wanted to be a journalist. And, I, and um, I mean, what I was doing, the independent stuff I was doing was, you know, the two things. One. Um, I genuinely wanted to be a good citizen. Yeah. 
you know, I really believed in doing something that, that made a difference. You're on the uh, Prevention for Violence at Home. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So they, they asked me to do that yep, campaign. Jump at that sort of. Yeah, of course yeah. I said yes. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, uh, that was an interesting experience yeah. too. But do you have do you have like a good support base at home? You know. Oh yeah. I mean, we've got challenges at home. Both our kids are mildly autistic, and that's, okay. that's made life hard. Yeah. Um, it's also been um, kind of inspiring as well. Um, one, you know, when you live with people who are irreducibly different, you actually understand what difference is in everyone. And it sounds kind of cheesy when you say it, but it, it, yeah, it's true in a really um, gritty way. Yeah. It's actually helped me as a journalist yeah. to understand how people are different. Russell, how are you? Good to G'day. see you again. How have you been, alright? Oh, not bad. Busy Whoops. as usual. Yeah? You know. Oh, well. No rest yeah. for the wicked. Indeed. Look, well, we're back here again for the reveal. So, look, we'll just get straight into it if you want. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Look, what I'll get you to do, turn around for me. I'll face yeah, okay. that wall. And I'm going to come back. Yeah. And then we'll just turn around at the same time. Get over and done with. Okay. Okay. Don't move. Alright. Yep. We'll just turn around. Okay. Go for it. Oh, yeah? No. I'm down with that. You down with that? You, you have my ginger tinge. When I was born, I had red hair. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. Yeah. So. I just beefed up the colour a little bit, well, actually yeah. quite a lot, because you've continuously got, every time I met you, you got the stubble. Yeah. And I just thought, oh, just, it's a little bit plain. So I thought, yeah. I wonder if he was. Yeah, yeah. no, you guessed that absolutely yeah. right. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. Look, we'll go for yeah, it. Yeah, and uh, it, it's really orange and really red, but I was really want to emphasise that. Yeah, and uh, you also got the colour of my eyes right. So, so what do you really notice about it? So? Uh, you've, you've picked up my inner ginge, <laughs> and um, you've got my quizzical look. Yeah. And, and uh, I like both of those. I'm totally happy with those. The, the inner ginge actually has a certain significance because um, my mother's family, the Salbury's, yeah. um, are, are a family of gingers, and um, I've always felt quite close to that side of the family. Oh, so, right. Yeah. Nice work. And the quizzical look, that's good. You know, I'm always rushing off to find out something or having an idea, so. They look like a nice bloke, so. You know. They are a nice bloke. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, mate. Thanks very Cheers. much. No, I really enjoyed it. It's good. Cool.